Well, hello and uh, welcome. It's been a while, guys. I'm sorry it's uh, taken so long, but I have been uh, doing some uh, busy work. Uh, what I've got here for you today is a little bit more on the HDR. Now, I'm showing you a um, picture or a few pictures in um, Affinity Photo. Now, you say, what is this Affinity Photo? Nothing to do with it other than we're just viewing some JPEGs here. Now, if you notice this JPEG completely blown out, this other one uh as well but now we've got one there which is showing some clouds outside and that's a bit more balanced uh, from an outside point of view so we've got some detail in the sky and let's see how we did it so without further ado i'm going to go and uh, pick my images that we need to stitch together so there we go we'll put them all together now in our beloved panorama studio 4 so there's our eight images and um I'm just checking quickly just to see they go in a nice order side by side which it does and they look like I don't need to do any stacking or anything like that because we're not doing a gigapixel so we can ignore that one I may even move on to the alignment the parameters are using my camera DMC G5 but I'm using a lens that doesn't have any electronics so I have to tell it manually that the uh, the lens is a circular fisheye I'll leave vignette correcting on. Uh, in the advance, we just need normal. No need for anything other than normal at, at this stage. Everything is optimized. Uh, grid assistance isn't used because, like I say, we're not using a gigapixel where you would definitely need gigapixel arrangement to be done on that one. So let's go and uh, hit the alignment button. And there we go. We've got a nice little thumbnail, low quality, low resolution preview of what we're doing. So, as you can see, this is the image straight out of the camera. Uh, it's a bracketed image, but for some reason, uh, it doesn't show it when we go into the HDR, as you'll see in a minute. Let's zoom it up a bit. And this area there, outside, is the obviously the cloudy area, which we want to try and bring back. So, here we have our HDR. And if you notice, as we're sliding along, compression way out, way over the top. I'm showing you this so you can see what the range is. And opposite now we've got loads of cloud out there very nice but look at the state of the image inside obviously too much has been applied uh, exposure once again right down at the bottom or higher up Woof, you can see how much how much range you've got in the HDI um, black point which is uh, uh, a big thing here on the leg you can see that the leg has now gone completely black and white point you can look at the cloud outside and you can adjust your white point out there so all of these things i'm showing in extremes just so you get an idea and an understanding of the sliders and what they do right so we'll start to try and grade it now to something that's more reasonable more preference to uh, having a decent picture so all i can say is you need to eyeball it to your preferences there is no You've got to put it in at 0 0.23, 0 0.5 or whatever. You need to eyeball it from your original photograph uh, until you get something of a pleasing nature that you are happy with. And more than that, I can't tell you because HDR is all about personal preference. Uh, as you know, as you do anything with photography, you are actually got to make that decision yourself. But we're trying to get a balance from the outside picture or the outside weather, uh, which is a slightly sunny day to the inside so I'm still playing around with these compression sliders still like to work work around until we're getting closer to it okay there's no real hard and fast rules here but it's nice to know you can turn it off to compare it and you can then look at it that's where we started and that's where we're, we're heading okay off on and you can see the difference between the two now you'll notice that down below there's also some processing that we can do there okay in the basics now we've got the standard contrast highlights midtones shadows of any kind of video uh, or uh, photographic software that you would want to edit that's all built in to panorama studio now it's nice that you don't have to come out of this program to do your actual work you can stay all within panorama studio to try and fine-tune the picture how you want it and all you've got to do then is save the image 
So once you're happy with all of the uh, image, you can just save it out. Okay, so let's do that. Let's push this up so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, right, just one more final check, just to make sure that we've got any final tweaks I might want to put in. Uh, that looks quite balanced to me. That's that's a nice contrast. Not too much, but like I say, it's all it's all down to you guys. You can play around with this all the time. You can't break anything. Don't worry about that. It's not going to it's not going to change anything at all unless you uh, bake it in and save it. At this stage, you've not saved it yet, so you, you're all good to go. Uh, so, just see how it feels, you know. There is no hard and fast rules about this. So, I think I'm about ready now. I'm not sure. Just doing a final visual check. Yeah. Now, at this stage, you do not want to press that reset. If you press that reset, all what you've just done is lost. Okay, you don't do that. So, now... That's good. Happy with that. Don't know what you think, but that'll do me. So I'm going to save it. Okay. Make sure you've got the HDR on when you're saving it. That's over here with the little green indicator. So you know you're saving the HDR. Uh, but before we go, one, one very important thing we have to do is we have to get it to 180 degrees. So if you see it's 168.9. Let's slide this down till we get a full 180. Uh, and that'll be because we don't want any pinching on the picture if you're going to remove the tripod later which you probably will do so we've got it to 180 uh, all the rest I just leave you can look at that take a photograph of that that's all left standard though I've not changed anything and the color that it'll interpolate which is, means it'll fill in the, ho the hole that was there uh, with that little color there and we'll say okay so we'll render this out now and this is in real time guys so that's uh, what is that? What, two, three seconds, a, a render pass, and another, what was that, 10 seconds, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we'll save it out. Now, I'm not going to come back to this picture because I don't want to do anything more, but you've got options on the save. You can save out the image as a standard JPEG, uh, which you've done HDR adjustment on, so we'll call it uh, Adjusted um, HDR. We'll give it that name, shall we? Uh, probably spelled that wrong, but never mind. Uh, we'll save that and on the HDR image if you wanted you could send some HDR image and then save that as a separate HDR and that, that will work in other programs as a HDR image from there on in and that's handy to know okay so that'll do uh, two saves one that I'm going to use which is the HDR JPEG and the other one which I could use in other programs say like Affinity Photo stuff, stuff like that all right, now let's look and have a little look in our favorite viewer. So I'm not going to go back to that. So here we go. I'm in the Rico Theta, which is a nice little freebie program. And look at the state of this. This is what we started with, okay? This was the image. And I wasn't happy. That came out of the camera, but it was a bracketed photograph. So I thought, well, I can retrieve some of this information that in my brackets. Uh, and the way to do it is with what we just used, the HDR in the uh, stitching program panorama studio so I'll, I'll just uh, move to that one this is just a quick show you of what it's like overexposed two light in here it was a much nicer ambience shall we say than that uh, so that's where we started now we'll go to our new one so that was the panorama one two three and let's open our uh, HD uh, adjusted one which we've just done and here we go look at the difference look at the difference much more detail got the clouds got the sky got a nice ambience a nice um subtle light to the actual uh, restaurant which is what what i was going for and i'm sure you'll agree it's done a great job so that's how it is um if you want to know more uh, or if you want to ask me a few questions about it please leave a, a comment below or uh anything like that and if you want to subscribe that'd be really nice and i'll do some more of these kind of videos for you or if there's any general questions you've got or here's one a challenge for you if anyone's got an image and they want me to stitch it for them let me know until next time bye for now